Hello, today I want to talk to you about how to identify which Vortex tube you have. Vortex tubes come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, which encompasses all 24 of our stock Vortex tubes. In most cases, there is a small silver sticker with a number located on the body next to the inlet. This number is the amount of SCFM required at 100 PSIG, but this is not always correct as generators can be changed out for different sizes. If the sticker is not there, then there are a few simple steps that you can take to identify which vortex tube you have. Locate the cold cap on the front of the body. Using the appropriate sized wrench, depending on the size of the vortex, or an adjustable wrench, remove the cap from the body. Inside, you'll notice a white plastic cylinder, which is called the generator. Carefully remove the generator, ensuring that you don't lose the o-ring sitting on top. At the base of the long cylinder, a part number will be stamped into the wide plaque section. You may have to use a pen or marker to help reveal the part number. Doing so will not affect performance. The part number on the generator can be broken down into two parts. First is the number. This represents the SCFM at 100 PSIG. Next is a letter, either R or C. The R, which stands for refrigeration, represents the max cooling power, or a 32 series. And the C represents the max cold temperature, which gives you the coldest temperature possible, which is our 34 series. By knowing both the part numbers, you can match them to the correct part number that you have. Once you have everything figured out, you can put the unit back together by placing the vortex generator back into the body. Make sure to get the o-ring all the way down to the bottom. Then place the cap back on and screw down. This can be done to about little over finger tight, making sure that everything is nice and snug inside. And there you have it, and that is how you identify which part number your Vortex tube is.